Hi everybody. Today we are going to see a Laravel video series tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to check with Laravel 7 crude operation using bootstrap model. As you see in the front screen a Google search engine. In the search engine just type tech1 dot in just click on the tech one solution as you see in the menu bar laravel menu is there just click on it this as you see the ultimate cheat sheet on laravel 7 crude using bootstrap model okay in the new release laravel 7 many new features are added in this new version are as follow as improved routing cache speed improved blade components laravel airlock etc how you can implement crude using laravel we will see in this tutorial let's do this practice we will do step by step in the first step we have to install the fresh copy of laravel 7 for that we have to go to the folder where you want to create a laravel 7 project and open the command prompt and run the following command to create a new laravel 7 project just copy this command and execute into your git bash or command prompt i am just copy this command and pasting this command into the git bash and just enter this so the installation of the laravel project has been started it's take few time to install and all this process has to be done now the step 2 go to the project folder and run the following command to check the install version of laravel so i am copy this command and going to execute into the git bash for checking the version of laravel now i am going to open into the the third step is run the project from the xamp server okay so just in the browser open localhost so as you see the laravel installation process is done now fourth step is create the database name laravel and open env file to set the database connection so just click on env file as you see the db connections db host name port and db database laravel username root and password so just add the database name laravel in your php my admin okay fifth step is run the following command cre for creating a migration file to create a customer table so just copy this command and execute into the git bash so i have copied this command and executing into the git bash so now the customer table has been created migration file is also created we will going to check this into this migration database c this customer table is created now open the migration file which i just shown now database migration folder and modify the code with the following command 
as you see in the file the id and address means uh, timestamp is already there just we have to add this name email and address okay and add into that file after the id okay now in the seventh step the following migrate command to create the table so for this we just copy this command and execute in to the git bash or command prompt so we done with the seventh step also let's see into the php my admin as customer table is created or not yes the customer table is been created let's see the structure of the customer table yes it is showing properly now we will move toward eight step in the eight step run the following command to create a controller file so copy this command and execute this command into a git bash or command prompt to create a controller file okay so controller created successfully now move toward ninth step in the ninth step we have to run the command to create a customer model okay just copy this command and execute into a git bash or command prompt so i am executing into the git bash so model created successfully in the 10th step we have to see modify the model customer dot php with the following code so just add this code into your model file customer dot php which is over here this and just paste it over here okay because we have added into the table for customer name email and the address so we done with the model file also now move toward controller 11th step in the 11th step just open the customer controller file which is in the http controller folder and modify the code with the following code which is given in front of this uh, code section part so just open it and modify the code which is given into the co controller file i have already modified index create function and uh, store whatever the code is given in that script you have to, according to which you have to modify it, modify it okay now move toward 12 step open the web.php or the route folder and add the following code at the end of the file so just copy this command okay and go to the route section which is uh, below see over here as you see in the mouse web and at the end just paste it that code over here okay and save it after that create a two blade file name index.blade.php and layout.blade.php under resources view and customer folder and add the following code of layout.blade.php and index.blade.php for to both of this file i have already created this blade files into the resource section c view customer index 
and lay out blade okay finally we done with this okay now we will check into the browser section we done with the laravel crude project let's we run this into the browser section so open the url with public and in front of that just type customer customers okay as in the controller section we have given this so we have to type this so this has been created successfully now we going to add a single customer here suppose name i am going to add rose rose.gmail and address i am going to add rose rose villa okay submit over here so finally one add, uh, add customer has been added successfully in the next one more i am adding suppose name rocky rocky gmail then address i am going rose r1 retro submit okay one more customer has been added suppose i want to edit this rose villa so suppose in the name section i am adding 67 okay so finally we done with the laravel 7 crude operation using bootstrap model okay so friends if you like this video please like share and comment also if you have any query regarding this crude operation using bootstrap model and also uh, subscribe my channel to for getting the latest video regarding the laravel 7 video series thank you for watching this video thank you very much have a nice day